Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Diablo 3 Season 9. As you may know, I'm playing with the Witch Doctor. And I basically finished the first part because I have my first two pieces from Jade Harvester's Wisdom. And it's incredible. Uh, when Haunt lands on an enemy already affected by Haunt, it instantly deals 120 seconds worth of Haunt damage. And Haunt itself does. Uh, this time I took two enemies. Uh, so normally it's only one, but uh, haunts two enemies with spirits dealing 4000% weapon damage as gold over 12 seconds. If either enemy dies, the spirit will haunt another nearby enemy. It's, it's pretty damn crazy. I think this rune is the best, so you have other runes for that, but uh, doing two of them uh, at the same time I think is, is basically as good as it gets. And uh, I'm basically only uh, one job away from... Um, getting the next two pieces, which is to finish a Nephilim Rift at Master or Highest or Higher Difficulty. So I'm doing this in Master just to show how easy it is to actually uh, get through this season with the... Um, let's go like this. Uh, with, uh, with the Witch Doctor. There you go. They just, they just blew up from Haunt. It's crazy strong, crazy effective. As you can see, Haunt also just keeps going. Uh, they just keep jumping from enemies to enemies. I can add more uh, But really they just <laughs> they just blow up like crazy. That one just was one shot. At. This is just crazy good crazy strong and uh, If if there's more of them, you can always trap them a little bit. Just look at them. Look at them blow up there Just this is maybe even this feels more powerful than what the wizard uh, was doing uh, with its damage boost for the final set piece bonus. This is just, uh, yeah, pretty damn crazy. Just keep haunting and now you'll just watch everything melt. It just keeps jumping from opponent to opponent, from target to target. And um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Let's uh, get back a little bit, grab all of these orbs. Here we get some more. Okay, no problem. Let's toss some hounds around. Some haunts around. Just look at that. Just look at that crazy damage. You hardly have to do anything. We're already at halfway through this one. And on top of that, if, if it's less uh, hectic, you can also just toss haunts here and there. But, well, with a content one, it's gonna be even crazier. <laughs> My god. <laughs> look at that. Just burning through everything. That's another paragon level. This guy just got completely melted. Let's um, take some life regen. And uh, yeah, don't know what to tell you. This feels even more powerful than the wizard did uh, with its full set piece bonus that basically uh, increased your damage by hundreds of percentages for every damage type that you did, which, which gave you a very nice and easy rotation. Um, of course, I need to see what the full effect is going to be, but this is already just crazy good. And uh, is that uh, to the next set? Okay, maybe we can walk a little bit more through this one. So you just haunt these guys, they take uh, a dot. But the best part is when they die, look at that. All these haunting spirits, they just keep going to the next ones. So you can also, I think, build up some crazy killing sprees. Uh, with uh, with this as well. So let's just keep going. Toss a hound here and there, and uh, we're basically just uh, my God. Even those heavy guys, they just get blown up when they're hit by a second hound. And we're just looking for a couple of rares. There they are. So let's toss a couple hounds. Doesn't even cost that much mana, so you can basically keep casting that. And as you can see, the next one just got melted. Okay, another one. Good. Slow them down a little bit. Add some piranhas. And now they'll just be melting away. Thanks for the bracers. I'll take all of that. A couple of big guys. Well, that's not a big deal. Jesus Christ, that rare just got blown up once again. Almost there and look at that look at those guys jumping ahead to the next pack again looking for more targets Unbelievable this this feels 
This feels totally OP, to be honest. Look at that. Look at that all being melted down. Just a little bit more. And we'll have a Rift Guardian on our hands. Yeah, you guys just keep going on ahead here. Let's toss this up. I think that'll be enough. There he comes. Okay. Slow her down. And then just blop. Just, just gone. Instantly. Melted. No need to worry about that side. My haunting spirits are just gonna wreck him anyways. And now I have to speak to Oric in town. Let's quickly do that. I need to go back. Yep, still killing up there like crazy. Also, it gives me a lot of li little sicko pants, which I do like. And uh, let's talk here. Well done. That's it. Completed. Let's take a quick look at what we've got here. Shoulders, are they better? Yeah, your town portal is no longer interruptible. Not that interesting, but we'll take it. And what is this one? Blackthorn's Battle Gear. Fatality increased damage against elites. But for now it is better, so we'll take it. And then let's take a look at Hadric's Gift. Claim to inventory. I get shoulders and boots. Okay, so I'll take shoulders and boots, of course, which is just what dropped. Uh, but I'll take, uh, I'll take the resources. So, it's better and, well, it's not exactly better, but with a four-piece bonus now, what do we get? Soul Harvest gains the effect of every rune and has its cooldown reduced by one second every time you cast Haunt or a Locust Swarm. So that basically does mean that I'll have to switch an ability. I'm thinking the Grasp of the Dead uh, for, um, for Soul Harvest, which I'm not even entirely sure what it does so let's quickly explore that okay let's go grab these two yep let's put that stuff in the inventory uh, you guys over here for now looks good and um, yeah let's switch the grasping hands for now let's switch the grasping hands for the what is it that I need? Nope. Soul Harvest? Damn it. Now I don't even know. Because I've never really used those abilities. Soul Harvest gains the effect of every room. Okay. So. This one. Switching to. Soul Harvest. Which now should have. Swallow your soul. Gain mana and increase maximum mana. Siphon. Gain life for every harvested enemy. Increase your armor. Gain 5% increased movement speed. And harvest enemies also take weapon damage as physical. I will do a double dose of that, I guess. Okay, quite interesting. Um, let's maybe try the highest possible Nephilim Rift here. Level 15. Let's just dive in there. Let's see how we can perform. Uh, we'll call you. We'll call you for some extra damage. And then we'll just start seeing... Yeah, that still just basically blows them up like crazy. So I'm not all that worried. But those guys explode. I will just do this. We'll also try some soul harvest. Yeah. Cast my hound. Okay, there is more damage. But that was all right. I just don't really know. Ah, there we go. Now we grab them. Okay, gotta be a little careful of the damage. Don't feel too tanky. Um, but stuff is still dying pretty effectively when Haunt is fully triggered. So there we go. Still ahead of the time schedule, so we'll take it. So it's annoying that those guys keep exploding here. That makes it not so good for uh, for me at the moment. Let's also grab this stuff. Yeah, just kill it. Okay, keep going. Got the rare pack, please. That would be nice. Yeah, there we go. So let's grab this. Let's also do that. Oh, 
misclick on the ha on the little dogs. But yeah, this rare guy just got wrecked quite badly as well. And we can just keep, uh, keep absorbing stuff. Paragon level up quite easy. Okay, let's grab something. Um, resource cost reduction could actually be decently good here. So we'll build that up as well. So, and then when they're hit, blood, they're just gone. That's that's just pretty damn good. Uh, let's do that. Yep. Okay, let's use this. Gonna have that. Add some more spirits in the mix. And down. Do that again. Let's see if we can uh, grab some more resources. Okay, yeah, I'm just not really very tanky, but my damage here is absolutely mind blowing. So let's use that again. Grab this. Blow everyone up. more they are down speed pylon thank you that that and start breaking everything when they blow up a little bit of distance all right let's go like that good what's next here uh, do that cast some hounds oh my god so you, you're basically meant to walk in Cast that and then start halting away. Next I one. At your heart. Do that. Couple haunts and they're down. Okay, and then if you want, you can add some piranhas in the mix just for a little bit of crowd control. Go like that. Grab all of that. Haunts to clear. Yeah, this this is this is gonna work out really nicely, I think. <laughs> Oh, and if, if it weren't those ex exploding big guys, we'd be going through all of this even faster. Uh, let's kill this. So, go like this, go like that. Haunt, haunt, haunt. More. Okay, a little bit more on the slow side on this one. The truth burns you. We are at 15 Seeker Pants, which is good. I like them. And look at my mana, just not moving at all. Okay, let's go like that. Blow up that rare. Right, like that. Grab all of this. We are down, move on to the next one. Man, <laughs> look at my lovely little army. Oh, that's nice. Uh, okay, let's do that. Then we'll uh, try to help him out a little bit. Should get armor and all of that good stuff. So that's nice. They are down. And it's the other way, of course. So it's not probably going to turn out to not be the best minion build. Um, but... I mean, if you look at the amount of damage that this is doing, pretty crazy in my book. And now look at that. Without the explosion delay, we're just going to wreck through these guys. In the spot here, we can just leave them. Um, worthwhile amount. Let's take a look. Okay, we're gonna add you. Nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> My hearts just keep going ahead of me. They just blew up. There's two demons. Yeah, just keep going. Ah, that's. That's. That like this. Hold everything. 
kill everything. No mercy. Oh, there was a rare pack in there. Okay. Hardly even noticed. Shield pylon. That can help. You you are a little bit more in the middle of it if you want to use um, that uh, soul harvest ability. But just the first the first uh, bonus is uh, is pretty crazy. Thank you. A little bit more. Um, put lock the piranhas here first, then we'll disable all of them. And suck them all dry. All their life force is mine. That'll do. And then just the final room for the boss. Uh, okay, get there. Let's go like that. Last couple of those. There's a guardian. Let's just uh, blow him up. Oh, well, he did some damage, but I did way more damage. <laughs> okay. The gem gives me 35% of all damage taken. He's staggered, and you know, some tanky gems could actually be good in this build, I think. So let's upgrade this as much as we can let's also hmm, take more intellect for more damage and speak to auric uh, but yeah there you go guys this uh, season 9 with the witch doctor i gotta say i think it's going to be pretty easy uh, to get the pet and uh, the final reward there because that first set bonus is just crazy 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 good so there you go. If you want to be able to blow through the season in like less than a week or something like that, go with the Witch Doctor because two pieces of Jade, Jade Harvester's Joy uh, makes your haunt like a, an, an incredible spell that is going to get you straight into maybe Torment 4, Torment 5 or something like that, even without a full set of legendaries. So there you go. Quick update on Diablo 3 Season 9. I'm going to work on the rest uh, of, uh, of the quest so that I can get my new pet. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.